welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to come on so that I could talk about <clears throat> something that's a bit of a topic right now <laughs> here in Merida. And it is the CFE Energy Bill. Um, CFE is the only electric company in the country of Mexico. So everyone gets their electricity from them okay <clears throat> so i'm just going to i'm just going to just tell you just keep it straight up right so when i did my budget breakdown for a couple months ago i talked about how much it cost me to live here right and you know things things fluctuate right and i did my breakdown a couple months ago I discussed how much it costs for me to live here in Merida with my daughter and our dog. And one thing that was reasonable, affordable, and just cool was the cost of electricity. So when I did my electric breakdown, it was $2,067. Ah, $2,067 pesos. Okay. And then that was for January to March. Signed my lease in January, officially moved in after getting my family settled, first of February, some travel, da 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 da, to March, right? So my utility bill was 2,067 pesos for January, February to March 10th, okay? So then March 10th, through May 12th, my um, utility for electricity was higher. I think a more of a stable number. It was 3,200 pesos, okay? So I'm thinking, okay, that makes sense. We've been here, we've been home, you know, using the full house and everything, living every day. That's, 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 more than reasonable reasonable now keep in mind that's for two months okay so i had been thinking okay i'm just going to keep in mind the utility bill is going to come at some point and they take it and they usually just roll it up like this and they stick it in the gate okay so i was washing my dishes and i looked out and i said oh the water or electric bill is here so i go outside and i get it and i'm like oh i see it's green the water bill is like a blue and brown earth tony color the electric bill is this uh green color okay and so i get it and i'm i'm, I'm looking at it and i'm just like ah. <laughs> i was shook i ain't even gonna lie i was shook i was shook y'all I was shook. I was shook. I didn't even, I, that's all I got. I was shook. So I read it and it's 7,410 pesos. And I'm thinking like, is there a shortage here? Like what's going on? My daughter wasn't here the month of June. I left the beginning of June. I was gone for a week I left the end of June again and I was gone for a week and I was just like in May we traveled and then when I leave I turn everything off right and I'm just like how like we only run electricity in two maybe I mean not electricity air conditioning two maybe three rooms we like it a little toasty um, you know and the lights are not always on and I'm just like we're just gonna be in the dark. That's that's just it is what it is. We're just gonna be in the dark. We're gonna turn everything off and we're gonna start living by candlelight. That's just that's just it is what it is. <laughs> at this point, um, and you know, I just think it comes down to, um, from what I was explained, is that it's set up on a subsidy, like to keep your bills lower or more regulated. And if you, and if I look at the chart from you know previous usage everything seems to pretty much be on par okay so at this point 
we just gonna be we just gonna conserve energy a little better and we gonna just pray hope and wish that the next utility bill is not gonna be so so high right keep in mind that the you know hottest months of the year are april may june those are the hottest months here in merida at least that's what I've been told. These are my first months, so I'm still learning things. So for what I understand, those are the hottest months. So maybe why we burn the air conditioner, run the air conditioners a little more, um, and things of that nature. We're not the type to leave lights on. Um, I'm pretty cautious of things like that. And I would say that probably the other big thing would be, um, you know, just utilizing most of the rooms. So not too shocked about it a lot of people are shocked about it you know two thousand three thousand pesos seems to be the number that i'm most comfortable with this 7400 peso bill is just like mm -mm, mm -mm. so we just we, we we gonna keep an eye out on it for the rest of the time if anybody else that's here and they got a crazy high i mean hi listen I, I don't know if my electricity has started doing meth because it is high, honey, high. And, you know, if you got a high crazy bill, I mean, moving from Texas, it's kind of like, ah, that's over two months. It's not that bad, but it's still bad. Like, I don't want to pay that bill. It's high. But still, you know, it is what it is. So I just wanted to give an update because I know that's something that a lot of people think about and take into consideration when moving is how much will your utility bills be i haven't got my new water bill for the month i don't feel like we increase showering or anything i don't feel like <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like it should be crazy high but yes you know air conditioning was a big thing will we be cutting things off more now mm -hmm. yeah we, we're gonna be a little more mindful you know of things going forward but yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. If you like my content, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And I appreciate all of your support. Until the next one. Thank you.